This mutation is called Get Out More and the, it is being played on Dead of Night. We have three mutators active, we have Imminent Domain, we have Self Destruction, and we have Mineral Shields. Uh, overall not a very difficult mutator set to deal with, uh, as long as you're not losing any structures, Imminent Domain is irrelevant. Um, mineral shields are kind of annoying, but again, as long as you build static defense at the back of your mineral line, uh, either uh, it's two pieces of static defense, uh, so it's either two blaster billies, um, or two Fuiton cannons, or two spine brawlers, or you know, a bunker, or something like that, uh, you'll be fine. And self destruction is a little bit annoying if uh, if your buildings are taking damage. So what this is basically trying to do is trying to um, discourage the use of static defense in the game. Now, obviously there are better commander picks here uh, in this mission. Uh, Vorzun and Nova are probably not the best commanders for this, but uh, the whole goal of the series is to highlight some uh, some interesting plays that you can do. Uh, just to show you that you know mutations can be done with pretty much any commander, and uh, one of the players here, Hunter, is known for, uh, for doing these uh, weekly mutations with every single commander, and he does it every week. Feel free to check out his YouTube channel, check out the stream, he's a really, really great player. And uh, yeah, he does mutations on with with pretty much every single commander. I think I think there are only one or two mutations where he was not able to do that, but uh, it just goes to show the level of skill this player has. So we have Nova over here with, uh, with Vorzun. Uh, let's have a look at the mastery points. Uh, we have the Dark Pylon range and we have the Time Stop uh, increase and the Spear for Dune energy. Um, I'm not really much of a fan of the Spear for Dune energy usage. Uh, the, I think the Chrono Boost is a little bit better. Uh, this one is a good choice. Uh, dark Pylon range, you know, I think they're playing to cheese, which is why they have the Dark Pylon range. Uh, for Nova, uh, we have the Nuke and Hollow uh, uh, decoy cooldown. Again, I'm not really sure. I think the airstrike cost is a little bit better. Primary ability improvement is really good. Unit HP regen. I tend to put 2010 here. Uh, and that'll just provide uh, it'll just provide you with a little bit more uh, regeneration on your units, but it'll also give you a little bit of energy on, on Nova. But uh, let's see what the plan is here for the players. Now, unfortunately, all the special infested are detectors, so the dark pile on range doesn't really provide a lot of value, I don't think. So uh, there you go. You have to be really you have to be really be careful with the self destruction because the self destruction can wipe you out. So shadow guard here has been used to take out the uh, the choker. And now they I think the plan is to just, yeah, they're going to snipe out these enemy units here, which is really good use of time stop. You know, you're not going to be able to use time stop anyway early, so uh, using time stop now and just getting a little bit of value uh, from your units uh, and, and your cooldowns. Uh, but as you can see here, the Shadow Guard taking a lot of damage from the uh, from the self-destruction, but uh, all, all in all it seems okay. So Nova has already dropped down two siege tanks, which means that this area has been essentially uh, defended. Um, at least during this night. Now the one thing Nova will have to be careful about is that because there are chokers, uh, chokers can actually catch your units and like they are one of the deadliest units there is like in in uh, on this map because uh, those things will actually pull your units in and uh, just stun lock them. So you have to be a little bit careful when it comes to that. A little bit of a cancel over there. I think that is just make sure that there are ways of uh, pushing out during the uh, during the daytime. Now, if you are trying to rush and like clear this mission as quickly as possible, which is something you should be doing, the build for Vorzun here is mostly Dark Templars with a few Stalkers. So the Stalkers are going to be used purely for anti-air to deal with the uh, with the Vipers or the Ravens or whatever air units are there. But mostly you want an army of Dark Templars and then you want to be using your time stops to, um, to slow the mission down. Uh, when you use time stop, this timer actually stops as well. So what you can do is you can get an extra few seconds to clear during the daytime. And uh, that is basically how a time stop should be used. And additionally what you can do is during the first day you put the dark pylon down here. And uh, during the day you push into this side from the 9 o'clock to, uh, to the 10 o'clock position. And then you recall your army down to the dark pylon and you can start clearing from the 8 o'clock position down to the 6 o'clock position. And if you do that really well, if you if you have a time to well, you can actually clear that out um, in the first uh, in, in during the second day to be more precise. So Nova there just gets completely wiped because the Joker pulls her in, and then she just gets wrecked by self destruction. Again, you can see the amount of damage like that's being dealt. Uh, Black Hole is nice in containing the self destruction, but if you are to jump in there, uh, you will take a lot of damage over there. So uh, there we go. The siege tanks at the back, though, shelling away, and that is uh, reasonably okay.
Um, what do we have else? Yeah, I think uh, there are a few more Dark Templars over there. Have any units been lost yet? Uh, two or three Dark Templars have been lost so far. Because, uh, yeah, self-destruction is really, really nasty. And that uh, that does make it a little bit tricky when you are playing with uh, with a melee build. Because you end up walking right into the explosions. But uh, there we go. Day 2 is out now. And uh, now the players will be going to push in. Two sets of Marines get dropped. Again, as you can see, they are taking damage to uh, this... The stasis on the Dark Templars, this is exactly the reason why I don't like stasis on the Dark Templars. I tend to uh, I tend to not get the upgrade, and if I usually remember, I will disable the uh, the ability on the uh, uh, on the Shadow Guard if there is a good reason to do so. so. Now we have Nova pushing in over here with a Sabotage drone, and now there is another time stop, and that will uh, push in, and uh, both the players will be uh, trying to race against time to uh, take as much advantage of that time stop as they can. So, uh, as you can see here, lots of damage being dealt from self-destruction. I really wish there was a stat that said, like, unit damage taken from self-destruction, because, uh, yeah, a lot of damage is being dealt out here, and, you know, having melee units makes it really, really difficult. But there are a few blinks back from, uh, from Vorzoon, and, uh, using the Shaft Fury upgrade as well is uh, very, very valuable for, uh, for Vorzoon, just getting that little bit of, uh, uh invincibility. So we have another hybrid here that ends up going down, and uh, yeah. I think one of the other things that's also important is like if Nova has a uh, a Raven, she can uh, she can actually end up healing some of these units. And you know, obviously Protoss units cannot be healed, but uh, having Nova having the Raven out, she can actually end up healing these uh, these Protoss units as well, which will make it uh, which can make this mission a little bit more uh, less uh, less painful. As you can see over here, the players have already cleaned up a large chunk of it. So there's that Raven I was talking about now. And, uh, yeah, these three structures end up getting cleared out. And now these uh, players are going to start clearing up uh, this side. So another blink here from the uh, from the Shadow Fury of the Dark Templars. And uh, this... Uh, there's a few enemy units here, but it's no real big deal. There's a Raven here to provide some detection, because there are some of the units here. And very nice, Nova is just folks firing down these Dark Templars. She does not want to have to deal with them, so she's just taking them out snipe snipe, and all those Dark Templars go down. And now this enemy base has been cleared. So what they've done is they've cleared everything from the 8 o'clock position all the way up to... Uh, all the way up to pretty much this area here. I think... With 30 seconds left on the timer, I think they can probably even get away with this. The uh, the knight is going to start, but the infested does not. They're not going to start spawning. They're not going to start attacking until a little bit later. So I think they will be able to, uh, to go ahead and start clearing this out. The only thing they'll have to be careful of is when they start attacking these buildings, the infested are going to spawn during the night time, and uh, that may mean they will take some uh, a little bit more damage than they'll intend to. I think clearing out this area is going to be a little bit better because uh, once the hybrids start spawning. Uh, it does get a little bit more difficult to push into this area during the day, so I think this is a good choice. Yeah, they're going to go start clearing this area out, and there's just going to be folks firing down these uh, these infested structures here. Let's have a look at them. Why is yeah? There there are 15 Dark Templars right now on the map, which is uh, which is a good healthy number. Uh, units lost. Actually, not that many Dark Templars lost. Like five Dark Templars is uh, is really good for you know considering the circumstances that you're, these things are eating up a lot of damage over here. But uh, I believe Vorzun has re either recalled or emergency recalled their army back, and now that structure is gone. Uh, and now Nova uses the uh, Griffin airlift to uh, move her army back, and uh, they're ready to defend now this side. Now there's a lot of static defense here, which is uh, which is okay because Vorzun is actually floating a lot of minerals. So uh, now we have a time stop as well that's come out here just uh, to help get the side under control, which is a good choice. Um, but yeah, I think um, I think the static defenses are okay, but again, they're gonna get detected, and I think there's a chance they will get taken out because of how how, uh, how self destruction uh, deals damage. The infested units are just gonna walk up over here, even though they're getting killed by the cannons, they're gonna end up dealing damage after they die. But I think it's just you know utilizing resources as efficiently as possible. I think that's the goal for Vorzun. and uh, obviously, like honestly, it's not a bad uh, not a bad decision. So. There we go, we have a bunch of Spire Mines that get set down here for Nova, that ends up wiping a lot of the uh, units here, and uh, again, Spire Mines are very, very valuable, and these keeps, keeps these cannons alive. Well, unfortunately, the Spire Mines are not reusable, so uh, let's see what happens. Most importantly, is just to get is just to deal with the initial flood of units, because uh, they tend to gather outside this barricade, and then once the barricade goes down, there's a large number of units that end up clearing 
through. So putting those Magmines there during that time is actually really good. So you can see here the Kaboomers are here. Kaboomers are very, very unfortunate because they do end up dealing a lot of splash damage. You can see here the amount of splash damage uh, that gets dealt. And uh, over here, Siege Tanks shelling these units. Most of them go down, but that Kaboomer is still alive. I think it'll end up clearing out this, uh, this base here, as you can see. Amon structures are being, uh, these, these units are being diverted through eminent domain. Now, uh, the good thing is, I don't think Amon can use the power from the pylons. I've never lost a cannon to, uh, to eminent domain because I very rarely use static defense, but I don't think, I don't think Amon's cannons can use the energy from your pylon, which I think, uh, I think is actually kind of funny. But there we go. So uh, that area gets wiped. There's a black hole now to just combine these units together. Most importantly, it's getting rid of these scouts. These scouts are uh, are very problematic here. So one more Kaboomer, but now Liberator's in position. They focus fire down that Kaboomer, and that Kaboomer goes boom. And uh, now there's that gateway gets converted to Amon. Yeah, so they, okay, so apparently they cannot, uh, even if they convert, they cannot actually get power, which is uh, which is very very convenient. But anyway, Warzu now is it going to be moving out. There's 40 seconds left to that time stop. So once that time stop comes up, they'll be able to clear out again ahead. And uh, this is a blink forward here just to weaken these enemy forces. A few corsairs in the mix as well, and uh, we'll be ready for getting that time stop up and running. I know we'll be pushing in from this side. 10 seconds left, as you can see, to time stop Upgrade over here. Complete. And now, okay, this area has been essentially uh, wiped clean, so time stop is now ready and good to go. Uh, both players are getting ready, I think, uh, just waiting for Nova to clean up whatever uh, enemy forces are here. And now time stop has come down, and now this is the rush. They have to try, once well, see that timer is frozen, uh, they have to try and clear as Looks many like of the structures as done. possible over here. They didn't miss out some of these ones, there is a Dark Templar here, but one Dark Templar is not enough to clear out all these uh, things out. But uh, they need to try and uh, push. Personally, what I would have done is I would have waited until I got to this position. Because this area was essentially clear. These are all freebies right now. Um, I would have cast time stop at this position as I was pushing in. Just to reduce the number of casualties in the, uh, uh, in, in the engagement. But uh, Nova is also pushing in on this side. So this is a double, uh, double uh, sided attack here. There's another blink here from the Dark Templars and blink out again just to make sure they're not taking unnecessary damage on uh, from that self-destruction. That side will be cleared and the enemy defenders, once once these enemy defenders have been cleared, uh, this, the rest of the side tends to fall really quickly because most of the defenders are focused in this area. There's still a few units on these sides but uh, nowhere near as much as the ones that are standing on this, uh, on this ramp here. So, two few more Dark Templars get sent to start clearing out this side and clean up the rest of these straggling buildings. And Nova is pushing in on this side as well. It's uh, siege tanks and uh, liberators and marines here. So this side uh, has been cleaned up. So uh, yeah, there we go. This is essentially done on uh, day number three. Uh, I think they might want to do the bonus objective, which is why they're not really in much of a hurry to uh, to rush us. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay. So what they want to do is they want to do the bonus Our objective now, but. Uh, yeah, this mission is essentially done. Uh, this, this area will be cleaned up as well. These last two structures are here. And just goes to show, you can clear this before, before you know, before you see Naya Swarms and before you see Stanks. And uh, that's what you should uh, be aiming to do for the most part all the time. Just not having to deal with uh, these boss units. So, the fire phase should spawn here, I believe. Uh, that is where the wire phase should spawn, assuming the whole map has been cleared. Okay, there we go. There's the wire phase coming out. And uh, these units are just going to completely shred through that uh, that unit over here. There's a bunch of spire mines that get triggered as well. This will be able to deal with some of the uh, the banelings that spawn. But that wire phase goes down. And it's good to go. And now there's that last Dark Templar and it's going to swipe away on this side and uh, clean up that structure. And that is the last structure cleared up. And that is GG.